Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to the Creek Zoo. Um, I bought elephants. I'm looking for another female elephant, unfortunately we don't have those. Two Indian elephants. And we're gonna place them around here, because here we have the uh, small clawed Asian otter. I'm not quite sure what to do with this area yet, it will be awesome, but I'm still wondering what to build there. Of course, here we have the bonobo habitat, and there we have the capuchin monkeys. Um, we still need to build a restaurant here, I've been saying that forever now, and I still haven't done that, so it, it is coming soonish, hopefully. Let's hope so, I hope. Let's just get started on this elephant habitat, shall we? Obviously, they're elephants, so um, they're gonna need like a big barrier. Yeah, a grade four. Um, grade four. This is grade five. Do I like that? Oh, that's grade three, that sucks. Two. See, I never actually used to. I've never used this before. Ooh, but I really like this. This is pretty. How come I've never seen this? I really like this. Let's use this one. It's great for so that's good. Let's use. Let's move that. Let's use this. And obviously, we already have a staff pot here. Uh, we can just build a little keeper hut back here, and then it should be great. Because I have no clue where the keeper hut actually is. So we'll see about that. So let's build this barrier. Let's see how big this is. Probably big enough, isn't it? Oh, that's very big that's actually very good so what we'll do we'll make a bit of a water area here because it obviously needs water um we'll build a shelter into this rock and then the path we can extend that over here perhaps even go up a bit and then go down like this back here it would be cool if we could have the path Merge back there. I don't see. I don't think there's a way to do that. Oh, no, there's no way to do that. Oh look, there already. Oh no, my lemur is about to die. Okay, let's see. Oh, the water is good as well, and they can enter. That's good. You're the biggest one, so let's see. You can. Yeah, see, you can get in and out. Shelter. We're gonna go uh, with some stone. Let's just see what we have. I actually really like this. Oops. I want to have a glass there. We're gonna build like this tiny little dome. We're gonna see if that uh, works out. Obviously it needs to be uh, big because of elephants. Let's see, pitch roofs. There we go. And then two more, I think. There. Let's move this back here. And if I'm not mistaken, they can still walk through it, which would be awesome. I would have to adjust the terrain just a tiny bit. Yeah, they're still able to walk through it, meaning they have hard shelter, which is awesome. Well, let's see. Indian elephants. Extra large bedding. They can sleep in here. There, nice bedding. Uh, they need a large food thingy. We'll put that here. And let's just food and water. Let's do it like that. That makes it way easier for me. We can even add this little thing. Um, like like this, and then it kind of, you know, belongs there. It is inaccessible, that sucks, so we're gonna place it on this side, making it accessible, which is good. Maybe a little bit still accessible, that's nice. I like that feature, I really like that. 
Okay, healers and coolers. Do they need healer heaters and coolers? I have no clue. What's their ideal? 8 to 40 degrees. So uh, we're in a temperate biome, so it's probably gonna freeze. So just in case, let's place some heaters. A beaver pool. I don't see why that's for an Indian elephant. But that's probably just me. Ooh, a gyro. I love these things. The feeder, like that as well. Ooh, there's nothing there. Obviously, you know, they're big. The mud bath. Perhaps then if we have this one here. How come this is inaccessible for you? I was about to say, like, that's like weird. This should be accessible as well. Um, a snowball, let's not. A tire, we can place like a tire back here. That they have something to do here, that's fine. The rubber scratching pillar. You have one of two there. Yes, oh, I love this bit. We'll place one on this side. And we'll place one on that side. And then this feeder we can place there. I think we can place a sprinkler right here near the mud bath. Let's just see if they can... Uh, They can still go in and out everywhere, that's good. Same goes for you, yeah, okay, that's good. Look at them going in the water, that's so adorable. These trees on the outside, actually, let's just see. That way it doesn't get mixed up with their needs, but it still looks um, as if it belongs in the habitat. Little trick I learned. Otherwise, the animals complain that there's like too much foliage in there, so just place these along the outside. Doesn't really matter. It's a little bit like that. So you see, like it belongs into the habitat, but technically it's not in there. Oh, this person is enthusiastic. That's good. Uh, now, do I want to place some lilies in here? I think I do actually. Just like that, in all this. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I actually like the look of that. So not from this side, but from the other side, it looks pretty. Okay. Now I am going to steal some of the uh, sculptures that I made here, and we are going to place those along here as well. Especially along the walls of this. So we have this and then I had another one here. Yeah, I had this one as well. I'm just gonna... I think I believe I had three, didn't I? Oh, that's the same. Is it the same? Yeah. Did I have three different ones? Oh well. I thought I had three different ones. Apparently I don't. Then I'm just gonna create this into a little. Scenery bits merge into scenery group. There we go, now I have three. There. And we are gonna mix this in with uh, some of the other rocks formations that we already have and that way we are really gonna make it one uh, big rock formation along this wall. Whoa, I don't know what my voice did there. That's that's weird. I apologize. I'm just gonna place it like that. And then later we're gonna fill it up so that it looks nice. But for now this is just the basic which we are going to need. There, okay, it looks like it's a sea animal. And when we actually place these different colors in there, it hopefully will look a lot better. So you can like stick these little plants out. 
Let's use this since I like it. And rotate a little bit like that. There. I like the way that look. What does it do for your plants? Ooh. I always like the way that looks. I feel like it looks more natural like that. Same here. We can just place them kind of random in between here. And then perhaps one or two of these. I feel like these ones, the common reed stands, um, are way more intense to look at than these than uh the cattail reeds so you can look like the common reed strands really overtake the cattail so i always like to have more cattail that's probably just because they are very common to where i live so that's probably something that i would see more and use more we can place these here along the border on some points i need to overdo it with these that's like the common theme of our zoo I think. Like everywhere you look you see those trees so let's just uh, keep doing that then. We'll place one more. No let's not. And again I don't want to use it everywhere but I do want to use it in some places. You know like here you could, you could throw one in and right here. Okay. Just to make it look a little bit more um, flowy, if that's the word. I'm not quite sure what word I'm looking for, but I know it has something to do with flow. That's what I know. Can you just sink this down to create a little bit of a uh, red bush-like texture? And if we align these to the surface, we could, you know, pretend these are like red bushes here as well. Just like that. Oh yeah, my favorite ones. I feel like a lot of trees are actually my favorite ones, so probably shouldn't say that that much. Oh wait, never mind. I thought it was something else. This is just looks really dead. You could place these. So we have bigger ones, we don't. This is the biggest ones we have. We we'll place them around here. Now we make like little bushes of that. Obviously, I don't need to. I need to remember that these elephants they live in more uh, jungle-like habitat, so they probably need a bit more of it. Not like a ridiculously amount, but we do need more plants than the African elephants. And this can be soil, that's fine. And this will be rock. I'm not sure if this is doing anything, because I don't think it affects it anymore, but you know, just for show. This can be soil as well. I know these elephants like soil. Am I right about it actually? Because I'm just making this up. Uh, terrain. I actually like short grass more. Well, okay, so this can be grassy, and this can be rocky, this can be soily a bit and just lower down the intensity, this can still be green, there needs to be a little bit of soil back here, like not a lot, but just a little bit. And I think I actually really like it like that. I mean, it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? Looks like a habitat which obviously uh, is created by man because of the way the trees are placed. But I do feel like it places the optimal way to view these animals, so that's pretty good. So now what we need to do is we need to build a staff facility, a keeper's hut. We just quickly take like a picture because this is really darn cute. What we need to do is we need to extend the path here. 
Um, it's just a normal path. It is pretty wide here. Let's just see if we can. We can't go up there, so we're gonna have to go around. If we can. We can just adjust the terrain here a little bit. Same with this, this could probably be lowered. And this could be like on the same level. This could be smoothed out so that we can easily walk there. Perhaps this needs to be pulled a little bit up. And this needs to be smoothed out as well. I feel like this curve is just way too high. Let's just see if the path will go over it. Let's see how far we will go. Ah, well, that actually works pretty good. Surprise. Continues to work here. Here's where we get a little bit into trouble. And this will be for future Nymph Assault. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint this yellow. I don't know who would sit on this, but fine. <laughs> Whatever. And now... Ooh, power. I don't think we're gonna have power back here. That's okay. It's all fine. In the end, we'll have like a pretty amazing zoo. I do, I do have power here. I think. No, I don't. Let, I just, I don't have power here. At least we can set it up, and then the power will come some other time. That's that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Like I'm not gonna build an entire power plant here right now because I don't know what I'm gonna place on the other side of this elephant habitat. A second elephant habitat. Probably not, but I do I have already bought like the African elephants as well. So at some point we're going to have to make a habitat for those. But since we have like, I believe like no African animals in here yet, um, I wanted to wait a little bit with that, and we are going to focus on this area first. And not that this is going to be an entire Indian area or something, or Asian area, I should say, because maybe Asian school, other is there as well. Um, I do feel like you should place animals that live in the same biome together, so obviously uh, this is like tropical, and the bonobos are tropical as well, and so are the capuchin monkeys, so they kind of match. And I'm lying when I'm saying I have no African elephants or um, animals. I have the the antelopes. They're African. Why doesn't this one have power? Let me see where where my power. Oh. Well, back here. I mean, that area would have power as well. Um, that's worth it, in my opinion. Worth it. Uh, now, let's see the water. It does purify, that's good. There we go. That's all done. Let's just uh, see if this is now my new hotspot animal. It's not, it's still the polar bear. Nothing can top a polar bear. I mean, to be fair, when I'm in zoo, I there are polar bears. I want to see the polar bears. Come on, people, look at the animal elephants. Come on, let me just see if we have. Um... Aha! I'll buy you, and I'll buy you, and I'll buy you, and I bought way too many elephants probably, but that's fine. Whoa! Oh, they can walk on the rocks, that's so cool! 
something escaping. I can hear that. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. I'll be damned if it is another dog or African wild dog. It is, isn't it? It is. How do they keep escaping? Where is it? How? How do they keep getting out of there? Why are you red? Ooh, there's way too many, uh, way, way, way too many. You know what? Uh, you go to the trade center. Okay, now, for this African dog thing, um, I think I'm going to remove every bit of fence that I have. And I'm just going to replace it with an actual normal fence. I mean, this was a good idea and it looked pretty good, but they keep escaping and I'm really freaking sick of it. Like, I'm tired of them escaping all the darn time, so no thanks, you will no longer... Well, you will no longer have the option to escape, because I will replace this fence with a real fence. Higher. <laughs> They're not going to escape on me. Sorry, it had to be this way African wild dogs. Again, another African animal. I'm such a liar. I totally forgot that I have these animals. I don't know if it happens in a real zoo, like the African wild dogs kept escaping every darn time you have to flee for your life. Okay, good, and now habitat gates, because that was accidentally removed as well. Alright, because now all the animals are escaped. Really, they're not, but okay. I removed the habitat gates, because yeah. African wild dog. And these ones just don't care. <laughs> oh wait, did I have to remove my work zone? It did. Good, that's good. Well, that drama was quickly fixed, hopefully. Like, they can't escape, right? Let me just double check that. They can't! Huzzah! So that fiasco is fixed. Now there are like more elephants in here. Meaning they're happy. Which is good. <gasps> Look! Cute! People are not looking at them! Urgh! Anyways, I really like this episode. I love building this. This is actually really pretty. Oh, look, elephant right there. I like this. Well, if you liked it as well, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, possibly subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can always comment saying, tell, you know, telling me what you liked about it, what you didn't like. And if you have any ideas of other animals that we should build for, uh, leave a comment down below. And also make sure you check out my second channel. It's also linked down below. <laughs> Bye, guys.